So I just wanted to take a minute to talk about, uh, well, a little introduction to a very, very cold case um, that some may be familiar with, but some might not be. And that would be the case of Stacy Peterson, uh, maiden name Kales, and she was the wife of Drew Peterson, former police officer, Bolingbrook, Illinois. And she, she went to school with me. And she had a, a lot, um, and we'll go over that, but she had a lot of challenges in her life. Um, there were two siblings that died in a house fire. Um, another one died from sudden infant death. Her mother went missing. And then she's a teenager working at a hotel. She graduated a year early. And she's being wooed by a man, you know, 30 years older than her, who is married. And, um, you know, we'll deep dive into this situation. Um, but she came up missing and Drew Peterson's story was that you know, she just, she left him. She found someone new. She left him. Um, so you have the challenge of uh, a Bolingbroke police officer who just absolutely loved uh, being in front of the camera and media attention. Um, and he just kind of carried on, but he enjoyed the spotlight. It was very disturbing. And of course she wasn't found, but later, um, and we'll dive into all of this, um, his former wife, Kathleen Savio, her death was re-examined and it was determined to be a homicide. And he was subsequently charged and convicted. So by the grace of God, he he's off the streets for the moment. Her family, her sister, Cassandra is still to this day tirelessly working to locate her and recover her remains. Um, I don't know anybody that doesn't believe that she is alive and um, it is, they have a location where they believe her remains to be. I know she has been working hard to try to raise the funds to bring in the team that is necessary to um, recover the remains that she located. Um, it's a canal between Lockport, Romeoville border in Illinois. And um, she believes it could be her sister. <clears throat> and She's, she's far from her goal, but I believe uh, she will get that, hit that goal. But I think it's important because, you know, we still live in a time where um, people are taken advantage of when they're young and then they're isolated from their friends, their family, and they're exposed uh, to things that they're too young to be exposed to 
uh, and then they become a victim of domestic violence and God forbid you're in a situation where the other person is in a position of authority or power um, like her situation was. So I ultimately hope that as we dive into her story, we can put the focus on Stacy, the life, her children, honor her and help her sister um, get the help she needs to uh, retrieve these remains from the water um, and have them determined uh, to see if they are in fact Stacy's remains. Um, and so Stacy could finally have justice. So I just ask of you um, that as we walk through um, in the future, through the timeline of events, that you understand that there's, you know, we're talking about homicide, domestic violence, um, infidelities, and a lot, I mean, just a lot of sordid things um, that everybody just try to remain respectful. And, uh, you know, I, I hope that together uh, we are able to do something to be able to be of help to her sister to, so this family can have closure. So her sister, her friends, um, her children, can finally have closure. And I think it's so important to remember that these children didn't get enough time with their mother. And it's important that she has a light on her rather than the light continually focusing on him because that's what it was. Um, it was like she was an afterthought because he just loved being in front of the camera. So I hope that as a community, we can come together and, you know, do what we can to raise awareness about what her sister's trying to accomplish and help do some good to try to bring closure to her family. So I just thank all of you that have been that have joined this channel, that have been following me. I have a lot of reasons for doing the things that I do. And um, I certainly hope to be different. And I certainly hope that uh, this is a community that, and we can really help people rather than um, just focusing on one and only trying to do something for one when there are so many people that need our help. So thank you for watching and tuning in and we will continue to dive through. Um, it's a lot of information. Um, so it's, it's definitely gonna be a lot of videos over time um, as we plunge into it because there is a whole lot to the situation, um, but you know, the focus should remain on Stacy and Stacy's life and honoring her. So thank you for tuning in and take care.